In this video, I'll show you how to use the ear function properly without giving yourself headaches in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and tutorials on how to use Calc software. So the trouble with the year function and a few other date functions is that it uses something called the internal date value. To demonstrate, I'll just list out some years starting with 1965 all the way to 1977. If I try to use the year function on here, the tooltip actually says internal number of the date. If I simply select cell B5, type the close parentheses, then it gives me some value. If I apply the formula down, you can see yes, the formula is different, but why is it that all the numbers are 1905. Well, does this mean Calc has a bug and it's unable to display the year correctly to us? The short answer is no. It has to do with what the internal date value is. So to demonstrate what that is, I'll go ahead and use a function. And what we see is 23,944. This number stands for the date July 21st, 1965. Unfortunately for us humans, this is not very intuitive and it's very hard for us to figure out what is the internal date value to use. So my recommendation is when using the year function, we want to type out the date fully. So here I'll type in the date. Even though I typed in long form date, I automatically formatted this with a forward slash in between the month, day, and year. So if I try to use a year function on this, let's see what happens. Ah, success. It's showing the year as 1954. Now let me test with another date format. I copy down the formula. So success again. It's showing the date as 2023. Now my final tip in this video is when using the date format, it's better to type out in this way instead of this way. Unless you know your spreadsheet is only for your own use, you're never going to share it with anybody else. The reason is that for a user in different regional settings, their default date format would look different. However, this format is more of a standard. That's it for today's quick tip. I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions or if there's something else you'd like to learn, please mention it in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and as always, stay nifty.